Amphibians like frogs are adapted to live both on land and in water. Except a few species of frog that lay eggs on land, all amphibians begin life as aquatic larvae called tadpole. A tadpole respires through gills and skin. When a tadpole metamorphoses into an adult frog, it develops lungs for breathing air on land. A frog is able to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide through skin that is cutaneous respiration, lungs that is pulmonary respiration and lining of mouth or buckle that is buccopharyngeal respiration. The exchange of gases through the frog's moist skin is known as cutaneous respiration. The skin of a frog is composed of thin membranous tissue which is permeable to gases and contains a large network of blood vessels. This allows the respiratory gases to readily diffuse down their gradients between the blood vessels and the surrounding. Oxygen gas diffuses in and carbon dioxide diffuses out of the body. This mode of respiration occurs both in water and on land and requires moist skin. Thus, frogs always have moist skin due to glands which produce mucus across the skin. It accounts for more than half of the respiration in adult frogs. During hibernation, this is the only mode of respiration. Another mode of respiration in frog is pulmonary respiration. Frogs use their lungs when they are active and cannot get enough oxygen from cutaneous respiration. Like humans, a frog takes in air through its nostrils. The mechanism of taking air into the lungs is however different from humans, as frogs do not have ribs or diaphragm. During breathing in, the floor of the mouth of a frog is lowered, causing air to be drawn into the mouth or buccal cavity through the nostrils. It then closes its mouth and nostrils and raises the floor of its mouth to make its mouth cavity very small. This causes an increase in pressure in the mouth cavity. The air moves from mouth through the glottis into the frog's lungs, which are at lower pressure. Exchange of gases occurs in the lungs. During breathing out, the contraction of the muscles of lungs push the air out of the lungs. Besides skin and lungs, a frog can exchange respiratory gases across the moist lining of its mouth. During lung respiration, when a frog draws air into its mouth cavity, the lining of the mouth absorbs some oxygen from this inhaled air and gives out carbon dioxide. This is called buccopharyngeal respiration. As we all know the word amphibia means double life. Thus the various adaptations related to their respiration have equipped them to live in aquatic and terrestrial habitats.